first sale today too. How does it feel? Absolutely amazing. Let's go. Many more to come from these guys. How's it going, man? Hey, I'm doing excellent. How are you doing? Awesome. It's an honor to have you today, Tom. Honestly, uh, when I first came to uh, to the office, I'll be honest, I was really shy. You might have noticed, but uh, but your energy man is very welcoming so i really appreciated that awesome no problem man yeah yeah awesome so how long have you been uh doing door to door it's my fifth summer doing door to door sales i've yeah. been in sales since i graduated in university um and i'm never looking back nice really yeah nice nice and so why do you resonate that much with the door to door sale i think it's the the opportunity that comes with it and the endless growth that's pretty much what got me going um 100 commission everybody thinks it's a negative but i find it as a huge opportunity to just like hit your goals much faster and you know be able to invest potentially even build your own kind of business or be able to afford a business before you're 40 50 years old right mm -hmm. um and it's always changing evolving the smart home industry in particular there's always new technology being introduced and it's exciting to sell and everybody wants to or at least that's the way the world is going where technology is in everybody's pockets so it just makes sense and everybody wants it so it makes it easy to sell at the same time right nice yeah. nice so everybody has like their unique journey into the door to door yeah. So some people just right off the bat they they get it. Some people have this like more like they start and then and then they just grind for a few years and then they get it. But what was your journey like? Oh, interesting, man. Good question. Um, I went to university for business and once I graduated business, I had a business plan at first. I was gonna start my own frozen yogurt business and then it's seasonal. It's a summer gig just like door knocking is and I. I wasn't quite prepared. I won this big business plan competition and and the whole university was behind me, wanting me to start this frozen yogurt company. And it was a franchisable business, a food truck, and it was easy to start up, low costs and high profit margins with frozen yogurt. But I realized I wasn't ready because I needed to pass all my capstone classes. And I kind of pushed it off to the side and I realized I didn't want to start it premature and I had no job after university and my buddies were they tried Vivint and they did great and they're like Tom you'd be good at it you'd be real good at it come on out and I was like no no not doing it I wanted to focus on my business but when I when I realized it wasn't ready I, I was like you know what let's do it and I went out to Saskatchewan my parents weren't too happy that's for sure because straight out of a business degree, going to do door-to-door -door sales. The persona behind door-to-door -door sales isn't all that good, right? So they weren't too for it, but I had an awesome experience and I learned more than I've ever learned in university doing my first season of door-to-door -door sales, how to work hard, how to do a wholesale cycle. And it's been with me ever since, right? Even in my day-to-day -day personal life. So yeah, that that kind of was how I got into it. I had no other options and I did it and I turned it turned out to be an awesome career. That's awesome. That's awesome. And so when it comes to door to door, door to door, um, everybody also has like their own things that, that it brought to them mm -hmm. in terms of like uh, positive, positive things that it brought to them. What would you say that it brings positive in your life? Um, I would say, you know, it didn't have that little hold on well, how do I word it where it's like a cap on my my earnings I was able to hit different tiers of income way faster and same with same with leadership like in the standard brick and mortar business or the corporation you got to work for a long time in a corporation before you're a leader or doing any training or managing with this you can expedite that process and train people and next thing you know you're you're experiencing you're teaching people the art of selling and that that stays with people for life and you don't get that opportunity in standard corporation where you can be a manager and have a big influence on people you're kind of just trying to climb that corporate ladder when when this industry you can you can move a lot faster and gain that experience a lot quicker and then 
looks awesome on the resume for for future sales positions or sales management positions where you can say hey i've i've managed a team right or i've helped train within the team so the the path to the end goal was a lot clearer which i which i really enjoyed but yeah everything from communication skills to growth to um to just talking to people that's main that's the main pros i've seen in this industry since i've started awesome awesome and so at this point in your career you're like you've been a sales guy you've been a leader you've been a recruiter as well right yep you're still recruiting at this time is that right always okay always recruiting awesome yep. so uh when it comes to recruiting like when you see guys or girls coming up to you what what kind of qualities are you looking in people confidence i'm looking at holding their posture proper and like you can really tell when somebody comes walking up to you and they're how they hold themselves is how they're gonna be seen by other people right so you know i i look at servers people that are in the industry bartending any service industry those people are generally very good at sales because they're dealing with people on a daily basis um people that you know are on sports teams because in this industry it's all about being competitive right there's a certain point where you've made the most money you've made in a day in a week in a month and you'll start to turn off and you'll start kind of the work ethic goes down it's called the thermostat and and what happens is you know you got to be driven by competition to push past you're there to win yet you're making awesome money at the same time but you know when you're incentivized and you want to hit that that number you're more incentivized by a pair of shoes than you are you know make going out and selling on your own without getting that so you got to be competitive it's like a sport this industry you're constantly being pushed you got to train constantly so you're keeping sharp between the ears it's it, it's just never ending growth and learning that's that's what i like about it that's awesome man and uh you touched points a little bit earlier like uh seems like you have a real passion for sales you want to teach it you want to start mm -hmm. teaching it as well uh what makes sales such a passion for you uh for myself it's just helping helping people you know figuring out their needs and their wants and then fixing it or problems that they might be occurring in their day-to-day -day life and then fixing it with the service that you can provide uh making their day-to-day -day life easier um because there's got to be a need right there's got to be something that people make their decision by and it's either the money saving them money saving them time or making their life easier that's the main three reasons why people buy things or or get things right so with this industry we're able to make make their life easier make it more convenient for them also saves them money in certain areas of their their expenses like home insurance by being protected with you know different services being monitored 24/7 um so it also saves people from losing money on getting their their cars broken into or their home you know people buy off of emotion and it's a very emotional industry where you know breaking people breaking in you know people always want security no matter what the times are if you're in an economic downturn or up there's always crime um so it's it's never ending um opportunity to be able to to make deals you can always walk out the door and there's always there's about 25,000 doors right behind me where you can just go out and make money right yeah um I kind of lost track of the question you asked me but <laughs> what was the question <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I was just asking why you had a passion for sales oh yeah just you can always you'll never lose that um that skill it's a skill that you have for life right mm. if you know how to sell you'll always have a job no matter what and a quick a little story that i've had actually when there was uh covid first came february last year i was i was with vivent at the time and they they closed the doors and all the operation in canada and they said you got to go to missouri but there was all kinds of visa problems coming from canada to the united states and i was sitting in the Viv vivent housing and it was my first year managing with jason and we were all just sitting there kind of in a limbo and i picked up the phone book and i was like you know what guys i'm bored i don't want to like just sit here and i called a bunch of marketing companies in vancouver downtown and i just 
picked up the phone and I was like, hey, my name's Tom. I've been doing door-to-door -door sales for X, Y, Z time. Um, I'm currently out of work because the company went to the United States and COVID, but I'm super confident I can help you guys gain some revenue. I'll work for free on 100% commission structure. If I don't perform, you don't lose anything, but if I do, then we it's a win-win. And I've got, then I was working for two different marketing companies, just cold calling businesses, asking them if they want some COVID related marketing. Didn't end up selling anything because I didn't know much about marketing and there's quite a bit about it when I was selling signs and things like that. But the, the fact of the matter is, if you know how to sell and you got the confidence to do it, you may as well, you can, you can call up any company and say, hey, take me on. Mm. It's not gonna hurt you. It's only gonna benefit you. If I don't succeed, you don't spend any money, but you have that opportunity to give yourself a shot to get your foot in the door with whatever company you, you really want, right? Mm -hmm. So you're, you're never out of work. I was able to work and I kept, kept myself busy and it only lasted a short period of time because I found a new opportunity with Smart Haven to, mm. to bring the sales team. Cool. But yeah, that's, that's kind of the nice thing about sales. It's a universal language. You can sell cars, yeah. you can sell, um, everything needs to be sold. Like this phone, somebody sold it. You know, it's everything's being sold. This table, this computer, yeah. it's been sold by somebody, yeah. right? And somebody made commission off this computer, even these jars in bulk, Yeah. you know? So sales is everywhere. No matter where you look, sales is happening, right? That's so. true. Awesome, Tom. And last but not least, like, uh, so I came from two different offices before I joined mm -hmm. yours, you guys. Yep. And uh, one thing I noticed is that you guys have, have a very, very unique, energy that you guys bring a lot very playful uh, yeah everybody is like family uh if mm -hmm. you want to talk a little bit about how's your culture for somebody that's looking to join your team so yeah legacy legacy is our region within smart haven and we tried to do it differently just because we want it to be a very inclusive environment where you know we have fun we reward for hitting certain tiers and certain goals that people have but you know if we if we as a team work really hard and and make the quotas that we we shoot for you know we would go go karting we go paintballing we have activity days and we try to make it not so much just work 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 because it is a tough job we've all traveled from different areas we're sacrificing our summer to be doing this job to make money yes but on the mental it's pretty tough you know so we try to incorporate a lot of fun in our program so that it's more of a culture and and if we're always talking work 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 we never really get to know our our reps that well it's nice to know people on a personal level not just a work level right so and by doing these activities and you know incentivizing to go skydiving whenever we make it it's it's a celebration you know so um, it just makes the summer a lot easier and funner and more enjoyable so that we can retain and people want to come back and talk good things about our program when they go to university or whatever so that potentially growth happens naturally, right? So that's the main focus is to have fun, but it's also a, a job, right? So the people got to, you got to take it serious if you're joining our program. We've led from the front and been successful in being the top, region and smart haven and we want to keep it that way so we make sure everybody knows that that's our main focus mm -hmm. but if you're helping us get to a, our region's goals you're gonna have a blast doing it mm -hmm. you know we're we're always everybody's family within legacy and and uh yeah that's that's pretty much it we're we're obviously always looking for more talent and like-minded people that want to work hard have fun and and achieve goals right it's all about keeping on that forward, that incline of momentum, not just staying still, right? If you stay still, you're never going to grow. You're never going to get anywhere. It's just, and that's more stressful on the mindset than, than anything, right? Than being stuck doing this, right? Mm. You'd rather dip and decide this is not for me, mm. or you have the best time ever. You make money, you hit your goals, and everybody's happy, and then awards night, we're all celebrating, and yeah, so we, we're 
really focus on personal development within legacy where we want people to not just focus on their sales production but also their their offset goals that they have on the side where some a lot of people are saving up all their money to start a business or to travel the world in the off season or to buy their first welding rig where they can just be their own boss and take jobs when they want them so or invest like we push for investments like we we have clubs within um, what we're trying to implement it where there's like the investment clubs and there's the there's the kayaking or whatever people like to do and on the Sundays that we have off right mm. but yeah that's that's pretty much it you know we're always looking for for talent and people to join the team to if they feel that the culture is the right fit for them and it's not the most stereotypical job, that's for sure. You know, it's not the most glamorous in the eyes of the outside world. of People we knock and talk to, even relatives, family members, may not think of it as a real job. But if you if you put your head down and you trust the process, you go two feet in. It's it can it changed a lot of people's lives. And so that's what we're trying to push for at Legacy here. Awesome, Tom. So very last question. If you have a few words to say to somebody that would want to join your team, what do you have to say? Hey, man, reach out, ask questions, trust the process, give it a go. I promise you'll have a great time and you'll take something away that you will carry with with you for the rest of your life. So I look forward to meeting you and um, feel free to reach out and follow us on on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, legacy.sales. Alrighty, man. Thanks for having me. Showing with the pet. For the fire alarm.